What up, it's Strato. I got a new um, trash farm strategy here. It's for the Mother Shazra trash. Um, there's other guides about you know how you get up to this point, of course. Um, you just have to stop before you kill Mother. Um, some of the other methods out there are uh, pretty good. I think the average kill takes about six to seven minutes with other methods, but this one should take you on average about four, depending on your gear, you know, RNG, stuff like that. But it's quite a bit faster. And the best part actually is that you don't have to respec. You don't have to do any like cheeky, you know, affliction dot shit. You can just straight up use your normal PVE spec. And then also um, you don't need a swiftness sansa either. It'll help. Um, you know, using rocket boots is uh, another perfectly good alternative. You don't need either of those either. Um, the only thing that is required is you need uh, minor movement speed if you don't have rocket boots. Otherwise, the mobs will catch up to you. Um, anyway, so this method is... I'll go ahead and start the video. So you'll do this method like normal, um, obviously. Uh, it's a good idea to mark the mobs. You have these two that roam, they have a huge aggro radius, and if you lose track of them, you'll accidentally pull them, <laughs> of course. Uh, you can put in an eye of kill rog to kind of go in and scout this room. So obviously you'll pull like usual, you know, little ring around this center pillar is usually where you want to pull. So like right here. If I, uh, you know, had the range on that one, it would have worked. But, um, all right, so wait. Okay, let those go by. All right. This is a little bit of a risky pool right here, actually. But it works. Um, all right, so you pull like usual. If they get too close, what I've noticed is that you can actually hop up on this ledge here. A lot of times they'll evade a little bit, but it'll give you space to run. Um, all right, so here's the spot right here. I'm gonna stop the video. So you have this little ledge, okay? And so there's a part that slants downwards, like the stairs. And then you have a flat part at the top of this ledge. So if you go up on the flat part, they evade, like hard evade, they don't move. Um, so you don't want to do that on purpose or on accident. You can use this to your advantage because sometimes they'll bug out and start keep running towards you, but you can hop up on that ledge. I'll show you an example of this later. But basically, like, the corner right where the flat part goes to the bottom part is kind of like the ideal area to kind of stay. So unfortunately, when they run by, they will most of the time punch you. Um... If you don't get crit, you'll you'll live. There's a easier, safer way to do this if you you know want to do it that way. But honestly, you don't need to because most of the time you'll be fine. Um, so make sure you have enough HP to where you'll survive a punch. Um, don't cast anything while he runs by here because he will also kick you if you are. And if he kicks you, it does as much as a melee and you'll die. So this is for these um, hosts. The host you can do this way very easy solo. Um, the stewards are a little bit different, but I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, so you get up on the here, and now you just kind of do it like a hunter dire mall tribute almost. And honestly, I think being PVE normal spec is the best for this because you have the good range on your shadow bolts. You can just kind of hop back and forth, back and forth. I kind of like to do a one-to-one -one ratio, you know, you jump up, cast once, you jump down, cast once. You can usually sneak two in, perfectly fine. So there's a good example, actually, hold on. Um, where he keeps running towards you despite hopping up onto the ledge. So when that happens, you can just see what I do is I just kind of take a little waddle backwards towards the flat part again. And 
you just do this. So, a couple notes. Um, if you're going to do it this way with this spec, I think the spec is the fastest, but one thing to note is you don't want to sack your succubus or incubus, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. You want to sack your fell hunter for the mana. Um, it, it'll prevent you from going oom and you can just spam shadow bolts. You'll go in pretty quick if you don't use it. And then obviously you can't like drain life very effectively with the strategy. So you'll kind of just be much slower. But this is pretty much the entire thing. Um, I'll let the video play and then we'll talk some more later. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, one other thing to notice is the other strategies you can use for this, right? So usually when you just run around the circle um, in the other strategies, the ones that like other people have been using traditionally, you can do that and still get to the same spot. You know, obviously you can't go like straight there. It's safer. You won't get punched as they run by if you do it that way, though. So, um, you know, if you're not in a lot of rush, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, but this way is perfectly fine. You just gotta worry about getting punched. If you're going solo, you kind of have to go the long way with the stewards though, because the stewards will actually charge you and then punch you as they run that corner. And so you don't really have a choice. You kind of have to go the long way for that but anyway I hope this was pretty useful I think um, it's probably twice as fast as the other methods and then also of note is that you can actually make this ten times better if you add one other person you can just spam searing pain instead of shadow bolt and let another warlock kind of just sit there and you know do a lot of damage or really any class um, can just sit there and just DPS them while you kite them in that corner. It's pretty nutty, actually. But then you have to share your loot, so. So he dies. That took me about, I guess, a little barely over four and a half minutes. So it was a little slow. I had bad RNG, to be honest. Um, okay. Thanks for watching.